Hey guys, so I decided to make a video um, kind of explaining what makeup I used on my wedding day and how I used it and stuff. Because I know some women will actually watch these videos and get some inspiration. Um, and what I used was 99% drugstore. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to go over brushes real quick. And some of these I... One or two of these I didn't use. But this is all the brushes I brought with me on my wedding day to get ready with. Um, and I also bring my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. I use this to apply foundation. And then... This is an up and up brush. Up and up, up and up is a brand from Target. I think this is a powder brush, but I like to use this for my blush. It's like super soft. It literally feels like a bunny rabbit. Um, I like to apply my blush with this. You could also use it as a powder brush. You could use it for basically whatever you wanted to. You could use it to set bronzer or do bronzer, whatever you wanted to. Um, I mostly just use this for a blush brush. Most especially if you have a blush that is super pigmented and you need to sort of like apply less than what comes off, use this one because it's just so fluffy that you're not going to get a bunch on there. So it gives you the option of also working with your blush and layering things up. Um, you could also do it to do like a light contour. But yeah, Target Up and Up. It's the powder brush and I think it was like $5 or something. Super inexpensive and awesome quality. So this is an e.l.f. small stipple brush, and I usually use this to apply my contour with. Um, but actually on my wedding day, I ended up using one of my sister's brushes. It's like an off-brand, and it's angled, and it's about almost as thick as this, maybe a little bit more softer and puffy. But this brush does work awesome for setting highlighter, contour. I really like using this for applying my contour. I have this Wet n Wild brush that is like an eyelash comb and an eyebrow brush. I didn't really do my eyebrows on my wedding, but I use this almost every day to at least kind of just comb my eyebrows and just sort of make them look a little bit neater than what they would on their own. And I love having an eyelash comb in case you get a little clumpy with the mascara. You could easily brush that out um, or brush it out after curling because sometimes you can curl your eyelashes and they'll start, you know, crossing. So this was like literally a dollar and it is awesome for that. My brushes that I used to apply all my eyeshadow was, I have, let's see, I have the Morphe M433 brush. I don't know if you'll be able to read that because the light's reflecting. Um, this brush I love. And I usually use this to apply um, my crease color. Whenever, like, mostly like to darken the crease up because it is a bit smaller and it gets right in that crease very nice and perfectly. And then this one I'll use as a blending brush or also to apply like that transition color. This is the Morphe M505. Again, I don't know if the light will let you read the numbers because it's reflecting. I really like these brushes, um, but this is a really nice blending brush. And then I also have this one is from, dear God, what's this from? Eco Tools. It's some type of duo. But I will use this brush almost every time I do my eye makeup. It has like one end that's like a flat shader, um, which I'll use to pack on eyeshadow on the lid. I really love it for that. And then this end is like a really small blending brush, and I love blending out eyeshadow with this. Um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow with this because it just, it'll get into the small areas and really help you blend that out. Um, and then I have this e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. crease brush. I wouldn't use this for this crease. It's kind of almost like a pencil brush. It's really small and round. And I love using this brush for like that inner corner highlight. That's like pretty much the only thing I'll use this for, but it was a dollar and it works really well for that. And then the other face brush that I have is the Morphe M501. And I love using this brush to apply highlighter. It's really nice for that. But I did not use this to apply my highlighter on my wedding day. I actually used um, one of my sister's like off-brand brushes. It was a really nice soft fan brush. And this will apply highlighter just as good. I just felt like using the fan brush at the time. So for my foundation, I did use the Maybelline Fit Me um, dewy plus smooth foundation. I did a review on this 
foundation. Um, I'll try to remember to link that below in case you're interested in how this works. I love this foundation. I kind of wish I would have had the matte and poreless for my wedding day, but you can easily make this matte because what I do, this is what I use to set my foundation no matter if it's matte or not because I know it will make that foundation stay in place. That's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, everybody and their mother should know what this is by now. Really inexpensive and great mattifying powder. So what I like to do whenever I... You know, because the thing about it is, is I don't want my whole face to be as dewy as this foundation will allow it, especially not in the wintertime. Um, but some matte foundations just starts to like really crepe up and start become cakey. So I love using this and I'll take my matte finishing powder and I'll just set it everywhere and I'll just leave maybe less powder right here so that it gives me a little bit of a dewy finish in certain places that I actually want to be dewy and highlighted. And it works so well. These this combination, the foundation did not move the whole day, and even though it was in the winter time, there were still moments where I was sweating from being nervous, and none of this came off. Now, I don't have like a fancy primer that I put underneath my foundation, but what I always use when I do my makeup to um, work as a primer is I'll use Bath & Body Works, the Ultra Shade Body Cream. This is magic in the air, and... This stuff, because I just know it won't break me out because I've used it on my face before, it holds my foundation, it holds all my makeup. Like I applied my makeup really early that morning and didn't take it off till late at night and all of my makeup was exactly how it was when I applied it. So don't go out and buy really expensive primers. Try to use some of your thick lotions that will really melt into your skin and just see how that works and reacts with your makeup. This stuff, because it's so thick and creamy and just really melts into skin, it doesn't leave that like greasy um, film on your face that regular lotion will. I absolutely love using this stuff for primer. My highlighter, which was one of my favorite parts of my makeup on my wedding day, um, I used the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Precious Petals. This stuff is so inexpensive and really good. Um, what I did though was I took some Vaseline and I sort of patted it right here and then I applied the highlight on top of it and that Vaseline just really helped hold that highlight in place. Like my highlight was blinging from the moment I put it on to the moment I took it off. Not to mention that this highlighter is just, it's really bling bling bangy in your face. Like I just absolutely love this highlighter because it's just, it's such a pretty color and it really does glow. I don't know how well my camera will let you see that, but it's just, look at that. It's gorgeous. Use it in your inner corner as a highlight. Use it on your eyelid. Just make sure that you put um, a primer underneath your eyeshadow, and it'll hold up. It's just really good for the price. Like, I would not pass this up if you're looking for a good highlighter but don't want to spend the money. Um, what I had brought with me, in case others wanted to have a highlight that was more subtle, um, or subtle. I don't know why I said subtle. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer um, in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. Everybody on YouTube should know what this is. It's not a bronzer. It works more like a highlight. And let's see, maybe you'll still be able to see the Precious Petals. And I'll swatch the Reserve Your Cabana. This highlight is gorgeous in the sunlight. My camera probably won't show it. But it is more of a subtle, more natural looking highlight. So if you're more into that, try this. Just be aware that it does has FPS, S, why can I not speak correctly? SPF in it, so you might get that like flashback in photography. Just kind of be aware of that. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this foundation also has an SPF of 18, and I didn't get any flashback in my photography pictures. Um, so maybe that's because I set it with that powder and I don't think this has any SPF in it. It might be because I set it with a powder that didn't have any SPF. So just be aware of that. So what I use for concealer, it's like my new obsession. I love this concealer. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have the shade number 10 light. I just love this concealer. Um, I'll only put a dot there. Like you don't need a whole lot with this. You don't need to apply a bunch and this stuff like I use that complexion sponge from Real Techniques to blend this out and it blends out so quickly and just melts into your skin 
and it doesn't get like crepey and crusty. Like I wore this concealer from the moment I put it on to the moment I took it off. And when I went to remove my makeup, the concealer was still beautiful and melted in my skin and it wasn't crusty or crepey. Um, and I did set it. Normally I'll set my concealer with, um, I don't know, I'll use different things. Like sometimes I'll use the Stay Matte. Sometimes I'll use um, Elf Setting Powder. I'll use different things. But what I decided to set this with um, on my wedding day, my sister had the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I sort of, I baked it a little bit. I didn't really let it sit there long. But I did bake it a little bit just to make sure that it would hold in place. Um, which don't bake your concealer every day. It's actually not good for your skin at all. But if you're doing an event where you want that concealer to hold all day long, then yeah, I used the Laura Mercier to bake it. It worked really well and it was beautiful. This powder is what I have contoured my face with for like ever now. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. And this is the original version. This is not the renewed version. I haven't tried the renewed version because I heard it's not near as good as the older one, the original. And on top of that, when you look at this palette and the new, like, reformed palette, the colors are way off. So I'm kind of wondering if it wouldn't look right on my face if I was to buy, even though it's like the same caramel toffee labeled color, the colors look really off in the palette. Um, and a lot of people are not sure what to use this powder for. I use it sometimes to set my concealer. Sometimes I'll use it to set my foundation. I just use it like that. It's not really, like, it's supposed to be a contour highlight duo. This isn't going to highlight your face, but it is a nice setting powder. And as you can see, I've hit pan on both. And I, I just love this powder for contouring. It's just like my perfect color, and it's so inexpensive, and it's huge. Like, I'm still going to be able to use a lot of this even though I've hit major pan. The blush that I decided to go with was the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. Everybody on YouTube should know this color. It's just that really nice like peachy color that's really nice and glowy. It almost acts as a blush slash highlight on its own. I don't think I can ever get my camera to pick up this color the right way. It's so much more beautiful in person. Yeah, it's not going to work. Um, and I've used a lot of it, but it's still going. And I don't know, this is just one of my most favorite blushes. And it's not that expensive. It's very beautiful. And I honestly love using it with this brush, even though this stuff is not like that harsh pigmented blush where you might get in trouble if you don't like knock off your brush or anything. This stuff still worked really well with this brush. I just, I don't know, I loved it. I thought it was very pretty. So on to like things that I used for like eyeshadow, like of course I brought an uh, eyelash curler. Um, but what I used as like an eyelid primer before doing my eyeshadow was um, I really like using the NYX pencil jumbo crayon and this is in the shade um, 604 milk. Like everybody on YouTube should know what this is by now. I just love putting this all over my lid. And if you want to put concealer on first to hide like any veins or discoloration you might have. But I love putting this all over my lid before applying any of my eyeshadow. It just makes my eyeshadow look so pretty and more bright and vibrant. And it holds that eyeshadow. Like I've never had an issue with my eyeshadow creasing or dissipating when I put this on underneath it. So, and it's not that expensive. And it, it lasts for a pretty long time. And in, as long as you keep the cap on, it does not dry out. Like, I've had this probably longer than what I should. But it has yet to dry out on me. It's awesome. I love it. So what I did on that day for my eyeshadow, um, which I wanted to go super natural with the eyes. I didn't want to do a, a, a whole lot of makeup. You can do your makeup however you feel like it. I just wanted to go more subtle and natural. So I did use the Hard Candy Natural Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this stuff blew up on YouTube whenever it first came out. This is still an awesome palette. And it is a dupe for the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Not spot on exact dupe, but it's really close. And it's not, it's very inexpensive. I'm, I hope you can still get a hold of this. Because um, I love it. And as you can see, I've hit pan on a few colors there. So what I decided to do on that day with my eyeshadow to keep everything really natural and subtle is I use this as like my transition color and then I put this in my crease here and a lot of times I'll use this as my eyebrow highlight which I think I did that day as well. 
Um, and then what I decided to put on on my actual eyelid as like that main eyeshadow color was I put this on first and then I used this. I'm not sure what color this is. This came in like one of those Christmas things. It's one of the e.l.f. baked eyeshadows though. And I, I've hit pan on this as well. I don't know where you can find them at. I just know like I think it was either last year or the year before it came in a Christmas set. And out of all the baked eyeshadows this one was my favorite. It's still pretty soft even though I've had it for a while and it's just a it's just a cream color. It's not going to really show up on my skin very well, but I don't know. I love using this over that NYX Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil and it just really brightened that lid and I don't know, it just created a really pretty natural bridal look. I really love it. And then what I used for my inner corner highlight um, I went into my Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells palette. You all should know what this palette is by now. This palette will always be one of my most favorite eyeshadow palettes. I, I've i barely hit pan on this color, and I've used this palette so much I cannot even explain it to you. I just, I don't know. This is such good quality. Every one of them is good, and it's so inexpensive. Um... Normally, like, what I thought about doing was putting this color all over my eyelid, because I'll do that a lot on days that I don't feel like having, like, a lot of makeup on, because it's just such a pretty color, and I just dug my nail right into it. And it's so soft. I don't know, it's like a pinky, highlighty shade. You could almost use it as a face highlighter. I've used this color as a face highlighter several times, and it works so well. So the top color here, which is... I think the brow bone is what they have it labeled as. This is what I used as my inner corner highlight. And, I mean, look at it. I've used this as a face highlight so many times, and it looks beautiful. Look at that. So, this packed on to my inner corner with, like, a more stiff pencil brush. It was just gorgeous, and it doesn't cost hardly anything. It's awesome. I decided to, I decided to go with... I definitely wanted waterproof because I was scared. I wanted to wear false eyelashes so freaking bad. But I was just so scared that if I started crying that they would fall off. Or maybe I got stressed and started messing with my eyes and they would fall off. And then how embarrassing would that be? Um, but I decided to go with one of my favorite mascaras that I've used for so long over and over again. I always will repurchase this mascara as long as they don't change the formula and mess it up. But it's the um, Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. I just love this mascara. Um, I put that, I put this all over the top and bottom eyelashes. And then the top lashes I overlaid with this one, which is, yeah, this is CoverGirl. This is Lash Blast Fusion Water Resistant Mascara. So I put this on first, and then I put this on as the second layer on my top lashes, but I only kept this one on my bottom lashes. So I would not recommend using waterproof mascara daily because it can dry your eyelashes out so quick. Um, but these mascaras are super inexpensive, and they were amazing to use for an event like a wedding. So the lip products that I decided to use, I kept my EOS lip balm with me. Um... Whenever I told you guys that I had put Vaseline here before putting on my highlight to keep that highlighter holding all day, you could also use your lip balm. So if you have an EOS in your pocket, do that like that. Put your highlighter on and it will hold it. Um, but the lipsticks I decided to use, I actually, my sister still has it. Um, but I use this lip liner. It is the Maybelline... The words are faded. I don't know what it is. I just know it's Maybelline and the shade is number 50 red. I actually kind of don't like this lip liner because it's just, it's really stiff. It's not very creamy, but I just picked it up really quick. There's other Maybelline lip liners that are really good. I think I just got the wrong kind, um, but I just picked it up really quick. So I put this on all over my lid or all over my lips, and then I used the Color, ColourPop Ultra Satin Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick, in the shade Lost, I think it is. It's that brownie red color, and I loved it. It turned out perfect. Um, but yeah, my sister still has it. And then what I had brought with me in case any of the girls wanted to wear a nice nude lipstick was the Revlon, Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, and this is in the shade Seduction. I love this, and it smells... Mm, I like the smell of this. It smells like candy. I'm running out of places to swatch, but... I love this nude lip color. I would put a, a nude lip liner on under it 
because it doesn't dry down like a normal liquid lipstick. This kind of works as a tube lipstick. Like this will go off your lips so quick because it doesn't really dry down. So I would try it with like a nice nude lip liner to try and just hold this lipstick on your lips longer. So there you guys go. I, I tried really hard not to make this video too long. That is all of the makeup that I wore on my wedding day. Um, and it turned out really nice. It was a really beautiful, subtle, natural look. It wasn't too overboard, but it just kind of like just really accentuated my natural beauty without making it super obvious that I had a lot of makeup on. And I thought it turned out really well and it looked great in my pictures. It looked great all day long and it lasted all day long. Um, I didn't use a setting spray and it, my makeup still lasted through all of it. And I honestly believe it's because of this Ultra Shea um, body lotion from Bath and Body Works. I would really give this a try. Um, if you're looking, if you don't have a primer or a setting spray and you don't really want to spend the money on it, just try that and see how it works for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my content if you haven't already. And thumbs up this video if it did help either give you inspiration or ideas on what to use on your wedding day or some type of big event. Because I'd like to know whether or not I helped anybody. Because I know I watched a lot of these videos before my wedding to try and come up with ideas to do my makeup beautifully without breaking the bank. So, like I said, I used 99% drugstore. The only high-end product I used was the Laura Mercier powder to set my concealer. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!